good morning welcome back if you are new here my name is erica jane i like to make a ton of random videos anything from homemaking natural recipes home bakery things sometimes travel really anything i'm interested in or doing at the time i will probably make a video on so if that sounds good to you make sure you stick around we are just going to jump right into today's video. We're kind of continuing off the video that was posted last, um, a part two of sorts of our market prep, and this will include the actual market in, is, in it as well. I'm not going to film like at the market, but like probably like a clip of the table and then chat after how it actually went. So this morning we have a ton of prep and baking to do. Um, got the first batch of cookies in the oven, probably like seven, I wanna say, and it is 8.20, 8.30 right now. Um, so we have Rockstar cookies are done and they're like a sweet and savory kind of cookie. So there's like pretzels, three different types of chocolate and then score bits in it. Delicious, love those. Um, so those are over there cooling and then the oat cakes are out I think I may make more because I only have 12 oat cakes. Um, I might make another batch, so we'll see. And then that will depend on the time. <laughs> and then the chocolate chip score cookies are in the oven. Well, they're brown butter sourdough chocolate chip score cookies. Um, and then I have more in the fridge that I'll bake off after. And I have quite a few like more of those than the oat cakes or the other cookies. So I feel like I may want to make more oat cakes, but we also have sugar cookies as well. So. We'll see. Yeah, but today is basically the markets tomorrow. So today is like the second real big big day and prep day. And then tomorrow will be final things like baking off the sourdough and um, biscuits, scones, like last minute things in the morning. Um, but I'm going to, sorry, hear me. But I'm going to make them today, like make and shape the scones and the biscuits and stuff and then put them in the freezer and then you can bake those just as they are. Um, and then they don't melt as much. So that's my plan there. But <laughs> sorry, I keep down. I have so many things in my head right now. So next steps for us this morning, <clears throat> coming up first is gonna be to shape the sourdough, like do its first initial shape. So I just have it mixed up. <laughs> Definitely needed to separate this, but I have two bowls here. It's like a 13 batch. <laughs> so we will do the smooth fold out and then do the, it's not the right term, but I'm gonna smooth it into a ball. And then we'll do the stretch and folds and everything, let it bulk ferment and then shape those. And then this morning right now, we're gonna make icing for the carrot cake cups, the Biscoff cups, and then sugar cookies. Also the little cupcake cups. I think I'm just gonna do a small batch because I don't have a ton of those. And then I will do the cinnamon roll icing as well now, just like get them all done. <laughs> and then the cookies I'm baking now, so that'll be done because that's next on the list. And then I'm gonna ice and decorate the sugar cookies as well as the cake cups, both kinds. So the carrot and Biscoff, and then both the vanilla and chocolate as well. So all four kinds. And then I will probably have to shape the sourdough at some point in there. It's quite a bit cooler though today, so it probably won't be as fast. Um, it was like 40 degrees a few days this week and like the sourdough was bulk fermenting in like two hours. So it's cold this morning, like cool, not cold. It's like 15, 16 degrees. So that's where we're at there. And then I have cake pops in the fridge that I'm gonna wanna like melt the chocolate, dip them, like you dip the stick back in and then put them back in the fridge, let that solidify a little bit and then you dip them again. So we'll see, that's a multi-step process. That's been going on for like three days already. And then I need to make dough for the lotus rolls and cookies and cream rolls. So I'm using my cinnamon roll dough and I'm just gonna make a triple batch for each type and that should make a couple pans. And then, um, yeah, I'll just shape cut them and then put them in the fridge overnight and bake them off in the morning. And then Oreo Cakesters making those again. So I'll make the icing for that. I should put that on here too. I 
and then I, I could assemble them today probably I feel like it'll depend on time because they don't really get soggy like I last market we did them and like we kept eating them for a few days after and they were delicious so they don't really get weird and then I want to make chocolate chip muffin batter so that I can bake those off in the morning and then we need to make the dirt pudding for the dirt and worm cups and then assemble those <laughs> and then <laughs> making bits and bites <clears throat> which I'm probably gonna do last because it's gonna smell like garlic and like all of those things so ideally I would like to get the other stuff I've baked already packaged and out of here so it doesn't smell like that um so that's probably gonna be an evening thing and then the scones and lemon make biscuits all that stuff will probably be like Actually, no, that's probably not smart. I should probably do that before <laughs> and then just save bits and bites last. Um, yeah, but that's the list for today. <laughs> so let's do it. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna color coordinate. I have both chocolate and vanilla cake pops. So for the vanilla cake pops, I'm gonna do a yellow coating or a white coating. And then for the chocolate, I'm going to do a chocolate coating or a pink coating. So, then I'm going to know which one is which, because I feel like as soon as I put the coating on, it's going to be like, I don't know. understanding we dip the stick in the like candy melt then dip it in the cake pop so it stays on and then you dip the cake pop in the melt after then decorate it with sprinkles and I have 21 little slots here so I think I'll try and do that many and then reassess and then wait till those set and do another 21 I guess because yeah we just have that so
You snored. You can snore.
Those are seven. That's a good sign. I'm just going to take one note of time. Mr. Bazard. No, I'm sorry. These are cake pops. These are for kitties. These are for kitties. No. Oh, my sweet boy. It's almost time for lunch, though. Not quite, though, okay? Ain't nobody. <laughs> it's tough, eh? It's tough being a guy like you, Mr. Bison. Waiting for lunch. Waiting for lunch. Yeah, literally. Okay, so I just have a little cup here of the melted chocolate. And I'm just taking like one or two cake balls out of the fridge at a time. And then I just dip them in. This is literally my first time doing this. <laughs> I had one successful batch here. So, all right, let's do it. Yeah, it's working pretty well. Um, in fact, I need to like coat it after. We had to take the rugs so out. We had the rugs all upstairs, but the dogs completely ruined them. So we have a hard one for it. Yeah, I find I like I dip it initially, but then I can't like fully coat it because it kind of falls off the stick. Um, so then I finish it up with the spoon there. And it's a flower themed event, slash it's on a flower farm, so I'm using the flowers and little sprinkles. Stop spinning, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna do 
the vanilla cake pops are gonna be um, yellow and then white coatings and then the chocolate cake pops will be chocolate and pink like I already said that just so there's like some differential to it Just kind of doing them in rounds because I just have this one stand um, which holds like would hold 21 when they're packaged but since they're wet I'm keeping them like one apart just so they don't stick together um, so we probably have like 10 on here 36 7 this would be 8 and I've already done this is my second round of them so They seem to dry pretty quick, so that's not too bad. And then I'm just doing something in between. Like, I have a lot of other random things. Like, ice the cookies in between, the sugar cookies. I can't, um... No, it's not time for more food. You already had lunch, buddy. <laughs> Every time I open the fridge, because there's about food's in there, he thinks it's more food. I'm sorry, buddy. I know it's confusing. Buddy, <laughs> I'm sorry, sweet pea. You already had lunch. I know, buddy. You are so cute. Okay, so I think I can fit two more on here. Oh, precious boy. You need more talking, Mr. Peasant. Precious boy. Save the rest of the flowers for the chocolate. All right, pretty cute. Need to leave 
set a little bit more. Oh, my passion boy! <laughs> my passion! Hello! Ooh, we're sideways. <laughs> Welcome back. It's been a little bit of time. We're still sideways, so that's okay. Um, we have gone through almost all of the vanilla cake pops. I just have a few left to dip. All of the yellow ones are wrapped some chocolate are wrapped as well um, i have about half left of the chocolate to do that's just kind of i have to only do a certain amount because there's only so much room to stand them up but once the chocolate sets then i put them in packaging and put them in the fridge and then i can do another batch um so right now i just finished the chocolate chip muffin batter so that's sitting because it has to rest for like 15 20 minutes before you bake it um, and then I spent a bunch of time packaging cookies. So that was kind of fun and just like a little break to like sit and break it up. So I packaged all the cookies I baked this morning. So the Rockstar cookies, the chocolate chip, and the oat cakes. And then now I'm coming over to make, I was gonna make some cinnamon roll dough, but I still have this bowl with icing in it from when I made vanilla icing. So I'm just gonna continue on my icing stream and make the Biscoff icing, a ton of that because I'm doing Biscoff cake cups and then Biscoff um, cinnamon rolls. So I'm going to do a nice Biscoff icing and just make a ton of it, put it in a container and then have it ready for tomorrow. And then, because I'm not really going to be assemble, able to assemble and put them in the fridge because it's full of sourdough. So as I bake the sourdough off tomorrow, I'll start assembling things today I'm just going to make the ingredients so that tomorrow assembly is easier. <laughs> so I'm going to make the icing. I have the cakes over there and I think I'm just going to blend them so they're just like perfectly concise bits, cake bits, and then just like squish them in in layers. Um, I think it'll just be easier to eat with the icing as well. Um, and that's the plan there and then we'll make the cinnamon roll dough with that setting. And then while that's sitting, <laughs> The muffins are out of the oven, then I'll make oat cakes because I'm going to bake up one more batch probably. And then I'll dip those in chocolate and then it'll probably be time to shape the rolls, the cookies and cream and the lotus rolls. So I'll do that and then I need to bake bits and bites and that's the last thing to go in the oven. And then I'm going to make scones, both lemon and chocolate, and then biscuits to have in the freezer to bake off tomorrow morning. So we're getting close in terms of what's left to bake and we're doing pretty good on time. I mean, I know it's gonna end up taking me like <laughs> longer than I expect always, but I feel like we're doing pretty good. Not how much. <laughs> so I'm just gonna continue on. Start with the base off um, frosting. So for that, I'm just going to do butter, base off. <laughs> Is, and this is like Lotus or Biscoff, you can go either way, but this, and I'm just going to put a ton of that in here.
Smell it. Oh my god. If you've had a lotus like cookie, it smells like the cookie, but like so much better. I don't know how to describe it. It's so like warm and spicy and oh my god, delicious. But also it's like not too sweet. And I'm definitely like, the old thing. I'm definitely at the point where like I notice when things are too sweet and it's like the perfect level of sweetness. Like it doesn't make your mouth feel weird or gross. It's just oh my god. It's so good. It's so good. wrap up these cake pops and about it. The Too, like, that's where I got the flowers from right now. Um, and their dash box has gotten broken into a couple times, and yesterday was the second time. So now that we also have a business here, I'm like in our house, I'm definitely a little more aware. And like, any car here, and like, I'm not a driveway. 
and like there's way more traffic on the road now, which is like, it's fine, but it's also like, you gotta be aware of it. It's like, I don't wanna think that people are gonna steal, but it's like, it's evident that people do try and there are people that will try, regardless of like, if a hundred people you have that won't, and then you have one that might, especially right now. Like, things are getting weird, things are getting hard. It's probably going to increase. So, we plan on getting cameras. Okay, there's the timer. But yeah, we plan on getting cameras at some point soon. And I'm definitely like, I only have one other pickup day scheduled, and then I hope to have the sand by the road. Cause it just feels a little long time having it on the porch. Like it's fine, but also it's really jarring having people knock on your door randomly. What's that? Yeah, it's really unhappy when that happens. So that is the plan. That's the current plan. So I think. After the market next week, I'm gonna get some wood and try and get that going. So I can get that up and running. And then I'll probably wanna get a camera before I actually get the cash box out there. And then just get the sign that says, smile on the camera, like that kind of thing. So people are aware. And we hope, we hope that we will, but we did. I know that there has been, and that's not far from us, that's like 10 minutes on the road. So, it's in this area. And when people become aware of businesses with cash boxes, it happened in the valley a lot too. Like the self certain farms, farm stands, they would often end up like, not often, often, but like a few a season. There'd be a few break ins a season on farm stands, which sucks. It's sad. It's just like, no one knows how hard you can work unless you do it. So it's like the amount of effort you put in to put out a product and then have someone like one either steal it or try and steal your money from that work. <laughs> I have no like yeah, I have no understanding for those people. Like don't steal from the small places. Don't steal from people working just as hard as you are. Like you're clearly struggling, so are they. So if anyone's watching this that has ever stolen from a farm stand, check yourself. Check and check yourself. Like big companies, places that are like profiting off of people's despair and like that's a different story. But like a small business trying to like make ends meet working their ass off and getting stolen from. No, those are sorry, the lowest in the world. I have no respect for those people. I'm saying a lot, but yeah, no. Nope. There's other ways. There's other ways. I grew up my dad was on welfare on a lot of my childhood. No, <laughs> there are other fucking ways. <laughs> so, I get very passionate for that. Cause like I get what it's like to be, to not have money or to like, you know, make a sandwich for my sister, not for myself. So it's like, if, if you're struggling, if you need food, message me. I'll happily figure out a way to get you some bread or get you bagels or like something like that. And I put that on my media, put, I, I said that like, if you'd rather barter, if like times are tough, let me know. Cause I would much rather someone come to me and like, hey, I can't afford bread, but I need bread for my family. Cause like nine times out of 10 on a bake day, I'll have an extra like small loaf. I can just give that to someone if they need some bread or like have extra bagels or extra like one off the thing. So just, yeah, there's other ways. I'll get off my circle.
Timer is here. <laughs> okay, now we melt. Elastica. Melt these guys again. I was a little worried yesterday. I mean, to be fair, I've definitely cut out a few things from the menu, but I'm really good at like adding like a weird, like a lot of things on, and then I just do like small batches of everything, so there's like a ton of variety, but it's maybe not quite logical for like something like this. So I cut out the poke pies. I still might do them, but. I have a lot of other similar things like cupcakes, it's the same icing, and then I have chocolate cupcakes, so it's quite similar. And we have a ton of cookies. I am gonna make another batch of oat cakes, and then I have 12, I'll have 12 plain oat cakes and 12 chocolate dipped oat cakes, and then I have probably 30 brown butter sourdough chocolate chip score cookies, and then 14 Rockstar cookies, um, eight packs of two of the sunflower cookies, um, and then a ton of cake pops. We're gonna have probably just about 100 cake pops, maybe, maybe. And then a bunch of slices, like lemon loaf, banana bread, cinnamon swirl. Then we have the billionaire, they're the millionaire bars, and then the Biscoff millionaire bars. And then, what else do we have? Sourdough, so we have 13 loaves of sourdough, four plain, three s'mores, three herb and cheese, three cinnamon raisin. Those are already in the fridge. I have to bake them tomorrow. And then, I don't really hope to make bread tomorrow, but I'm thinking that it may be hard in terms of time, but we're gonna do our best. I mean, I definitely have to wake up early just for baking. Because the first few hours you can kind of take it easy because you're just like baking on sourdough, which is very like you don't have to be very in it because you're just kind of like scoring it, putting it in. All the work is already done, really. You're just baking it off, and then after a few hours of baking, I'll be back to assembling this.
it for it more.
some dishes. So I'm gonna move this. Mm. Oh. Stay in your sleep. And It's market day. I'm excited, nervous. The sourdough is coming out beautifully. So that is really exciting. Um, it's like 8.40, almost nine now. Um, the last two loaves of sourdough are in the oven now. They have about like 40 minutes, 30 minutes. And then finished up the carrot cake cups, the Biscoff cups, transferred all the loaves and squares back into the fridge. And now I'm just assembling the last kind of cup, which is the dirt and worms cups. And then I have our cinnamon rolls out proofing and then I'll bake off the scones after. And then we're gonna need to ice all of those and then that should finish it up. So this is the last real thing I need to do. And I'm just trying to decide if I wanna use these little cups for dirt and worms. I feel like they may be more kid oriented um, versus the meal, which are quite big. I feel like it may make sense to do these. Um, Cause these are really good for like cake cups. So I think I might keep that for those. But yeah, the process now is going to be to blend all of these Oreos and we're gonna use those in here. I do need to save a pack actually for these cinnamon rolls. So I keep that aside. Actually, I can count how many rolls I have. And uh, I need cookies and cream icing too. So <laughs> I will need to save those. So we will blend these up for dirt and worms and start assembling these cups now. Okay, I love these. <laughs> Hello, we're back. It is, what day is it? Tuesday. 
<laughs> it is Tuesday after the market. We had the market on Saturday. I have not filmed anything since, which is great. That has been great. Definitely needed to just try and chill. That was not, that didn't totally work, but did my best. Um, now we are here on Tuesday, coming back to some bakery prep stuff and more just like admin stuff this morning. Um, Connor helped me place an order last night on Kent for all the supplies for the bakery stand slash cart situation. Uh, that was scary. That was a lot of money. So that, yeah, that felt very scary and uncomfortable, but it is also very exciting because now I can say that we're going to have the bakery stand open. So I've closed orders for next week, um, both for the stand and my period's also going to hit. So trying to give myself some time to actually rest. So we're going to do both next week slash this weekend probably as well, which is exciting. I will show you parts of that likely, probably not too intensely, but parts of it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the market went really well. It was really, really busy, um, which was great because it was a fundraiser for the flower farm we were on. And then they, they had a sunflower you pick. So that was really busy. They probably saw, they said over 600 people. So amazing, amazing. It felt like the first like three hours just like flew by. Like I remember doing it at six o'clock because it was from three to seven. Um, so yeah, the first hour flew by. That's when I checked the time first and then it was six all of a sudden. So we sold out of quite a bit of stuff, all the bread, all the biscuits, almost all the cake pops, but I had like 80, all the dirt and worms, all the cake cups, like all those little things. Took home some cookies, which is fine, like probably like 20 cookies, um, but they freeze really well and we love them. So we've just been eating them. So like things like that are like not bad at all. Um, we had a few like cinnamon rolls, things like that, but we like to just like give them out to like vendors at the end. Cause like one, they're not gonna be good. Most of the time the vendors will enjoy them. They've also been working hard all day. So it's fun to give people treats that will actually like enjoy them instead of them just getting thrown out. So we didn't have a ton like to bring back, which was nice. Um, and yeah, learned a lot. Um, but yeah, cake pops were a really big hit. Someone asked me about birthday parties, which was kind of exciting um, and intriguing. So we'll see, we'll see what happens there. Um, I'm just sitting down planning kind of the week, like my orders and stuff. So I only have two for tomorrow for delivery, which is kind of nice in a way. Um, and they're similar. So I have three loaves of brown bread to make, a pan of cinnamon rolls, chocolate chip cookies, um, cinnamon raisin bagels. So a lot of that I'll do today. So except for the bagels and the brown bread, the cinnamon rolls, that'll be a today thing, the cookie dough today thing. And then lemon blueberry scones. I'll make those today and put them in the freezer, not bake them, but like you bake them from frozen. And then tomorrow I'll make brown bread, cinnamon raisin bagels, and bake off the cinnamon rolls and the cookie dough. So that's not bad at all. I could probably offer an order or deliver earlier, or I could just take it slow and like have some time in the morning, which might be nice. Um, then we have for Thursday pickup, one, two, three, four, five, six orders for Thursday pickup. Um, and a lot of these will be like cash on pickup or like that was online, that was online, that was online. So I have three online, three offline payments. So it's interesting to see how that splits up. And yeah, I'm just gonna make kind of my prep list for like today, like what I need to do and then what I'll need to do tomorrow because tomorrow I'll prep for Thursday pickups. So I guess that'll be good because I'll do, I won't have a ton to bake for Wednesday actual deliveries, but I have a decent amount of stuff for Thursday pickups. So that'll give me some time. Something for dinner.